a surprising move that has sent shockwaves through the automotive industry, Honda CEO Toshihiro Mai recently revealed the new anticipated $10,000 Honda Civic Saloon. This budget-friendly offering from the renowned Japanese automaker sparked immense interest and excitement amongst consumers and industry experts. Now let's delve into the details of this groundbreaking announcement and explore the potential impact it can have on the fiercely saloon market. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe button for more important updates. The current 11th Gen Honda Civic was introduced for the 2022 model year. While the compact car still feels fresh, Honda is giving the nameplate some small updates for 2025. The largest change is the addition of a new Civic Hybrid model. Here's what we expect to see from the new 2025 Honda Civic. The exterior design of the 2025 Honda Civic won't change dramatically compared to the current model that's on sale. The Civic will feature an updated front end with a revised front end with a larger grille, a wider front air intake, and more angular elements on the bumper. At the back, the Civic gains updated taillights and a new body-colored spoiler. Honda hasn't provided any pictures of the 2025 Honda Civic's interior yet, but we expect the current model's overall design to remain the same. The current Civic features an elegant interior design with honeycomb trim hiding the car's air vents, large physical controls on the center console, and a tidy infotainment system with a few physical controls. The Civic's sportier trims feature red interior accents and heavily bolstered seats. The 2025 Honda Civic could arrive with an updated infotainment system, though we don't know what the automaker has in store for the compact car yet. The current Civic comes with a 7-inch touchscreen, a 7-inch digital instrument cluster, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, a USB port, and four audio speakers. Available tech features include a 9-inch touchscreen, a 10.2-inch digital instrument cluster, 8 audio speakers, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a wireless charging pad, navigation, a 12-speaker Bose audio system, and satellite radio. The 2025 Honda Civic is expected to be available with multiple engines. The base Civic should continue to come with a 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine that makes 158 horsepower and 138 pound-feet of torque. A turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine is available and makes 180 horsepower and 177 pound-feet of, of torque. The high-performance Civic Type R comes with a turbo 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine that produces 310 horsepower. The 2025 Civic Hybrid is a new addition to the lineup, though Honda hasn't confirmed specifications for that model yet. Standard features with the current Honda Civic include forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, traffic sign recognition, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, lane departure warning, and automatic high beam assist. These features should continue to be available for the 2025 Honda Civic. Optional safety features include blind spot monitoring, rear cross-traffic alert, and parking sensors. Honda hasn't shared any information on the 2025 Civic's pricing yet. As a carryover model, the 2025 Honda Civic should remain close to the 2024 model's price that ranges from $25,000 to $30,000. Competitors in the compact segment include Toyota Corolla, Kia Forte, and Volkswagen Jetta. The Civic's nose is freshened by a wider, mouthier lower air intake, plus thinner corner intakes reminiscent of the Civic Type R's pieces. A revised upper grille reduces the current Civic snout-like hood overbite, too. Otherwise, the headlights appear unchanged, as do the taillights, doors, and, well, the rest of the Civic sedan body. A fresh wheel design, likely hybrid-specific, is shown as well. You can reasonably expect to see these changes migrate to the regular gas-fed Civics for 2025, too. Honda says those models are also receiving a light visual update and other changes for the next model year. Beneath the Civic Hybrid Smoother Snoot sits a version of the same hybrid powertrain found in the larger Accord Hybrid Sedan and CRV Hybrid SUV. 
A soaring Honda doesn't detune that set up much for the smaller Civic the way it does in the Euromarket Civic EHEV that presages this American version. That could mean the Civic Hybrid is in for a stout 204 horsepower, well beyond the 180 horsepower in the Civic's optional turbocharged 1.5 liter I4 gas engine, and even the 200 horsepower offered in the Civic C Sport sedan. The mighty Civic Type or hot hatch will still have the hybrid beat with 315 horsepower. But still, for the Civic Hybrid to be the second most powerful Civic, it also likely isn't by accident. Toyota's new Prius has garnered rave reviews for also taking a more power approach to fuel Cyprodome, ensuring the car isn't a dog when asked to move quicker than climate change. Along with its head-turning style, better handling, and general move up market, none of which impacts its near 60 miles per gallon efficiency, Toyota has upped the hybrid game. The humbler Corolla hybrid doesn't get nearly as much attention, but is capable of over 50 miles per gallon and is priced on the low end of the compact sedan market. Honda is likely eyeing a similar move up market with the new Civic Hybrid, a bid to make the gas electric Civic desirable, not merely practical. Of course, it tried that before with the most recent Insight, which transitioned away from a tadpole-shaped Prius Chaser to a Demi Acura, essentially an up-level Civic with unique styling and hybrid power. Honda appears to have learned from that experiment in niche differentiation and the sport touring badge on the back that marks the top Civic trim level. Another clue that Honda's going for aspirational but otherwise in-family positioning for the Civic Hybrid? It's entirely possible the Hybrid takes over the upper chunk of the Civic lineup, much the same way the newest Accord sedan lineup is divided into gas only and hybrid, with the latter making up the majority of the offering Sport, EXL, Sport L, and Touring. What this means for the Civic's entry-level 2.0-liter gas I-4, relegated to LX and Sport trims, and the turbocharged 1.5-liter engine in the EX and Touring models remains to be seen. Perhaps the 2.0-liter goes away, then the 1.5-liter is more powerful and efficient anyway, leaving the 1.5-liter gas engine in lower versions and the hybrid powertrain and everything else. Otherwise, it's possible the hybrid takes over the two top spots in the Civic sedan and hatchback families. The hatch is already available as a sport touring, but not the sedan. Honda says hybrid variants make up one in four of its sales in America, a development owed as much to the transition of the Accord and CRV lineups into mostly gas electric affairs as to Honda's strategy of blending its hybrids into existing models. As opposed to, say, spinning off dedicated hybrid-only variants like the now-defunct Insight or Toyota's Prius. It only makes sense to open up its popular Civic for hybrid customers. That is it for today. Make sure to like and subscribe.